Good morning. Let's now take a moment to welcome each other in our celebration as we turn to the people around us. And as we do so, let's all take a moment too to open our hearts to our Lord who is inviting us in this celebration that we may bring each other's intentions that we also continually pray for people in the world in dire and destitute situations. We remember to pray also for families that are struggling, especially in our parish. Remember to all those who continually serve in the front lines, the first responders, and all those who provide the essential services for the needy and poor. Today, we celebrate Monday of the second week of Easter. And our entrance song is here at this table. Come and be filled here at this table, food for all who hunger and drink for all who thirst drink of his love wine of salvation you shall live forever in jesus christ the lord <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Gathered to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You are the first fruits from the dead. Kyrie eleison. You show us the kingdom of God. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You give us your spirit. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by the Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. To our Lord Jesus Christ, dear Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly. The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, 
together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal. And signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod, and you shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If then you raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said, said to him, Amen, amen. I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from 
or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Passion story of our Lord, we hear towards the end of the Passion narrative of Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea, who went to Pilate to request for the body of our Lord Jesus. A very risky and dangerous move because they're risking their lives if people got to know that they were there uh, following, uh, of trying to obtain the body of our Lord Jesus for a decent burial, as Jewish tradition would hold it. And the important thing to remember is that it did not happen overnight. It just didn't happen at that instant. But there is a backstory to how they, how they were led to this risky and an action of faith, and we may say love and regard for our Lord Jesus. And the, in the gospel, we're given sort of that backstory of how Nicodemus was attracted to our Lord Jesus, how he listened to him, and how he paid attention to what he was saying, and how it was beginning to make sense. There was a stirring in his heart, led perhaps <clears throat> by the Spirit. However, he still wanted to take a smaller risk because he would not approach Jesus openly like the other Pharisees and leaders of his time. And he wanted to come there as one who is open to what Jesus' message was. And to that, Jesus recognized. And to him, he gave an opportunity to open his heart and to understand a different way of a relationship with the Lord. And our Lord Jesus introduced to him the action of the Holy Spirit. Because then it was, uh, it, they could not conceive the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus was trying to reveal to them the action of the Holy Spirit, allowing oneself to be open, allowing oneself that the grace may lead a person empower the person, strengthen the person, versus what Nicodemus has been so used to, the way of the Pharisees, if he's in a way that salvation is our work. Because as long as you follow meticulously, faithfully, and without question, the law and the traditions, you will be saved. However, Jesus is saying it's not the letter of the law, but the spirit of the law that is important. It's not merely about following things that one gains salvation or one gains transformation of the life, but it is in allowing the spirit to lead us. The very same thing that we find in our first reading when the authorities were trying to prevent Peter and the other apostles to proclaim where the Spirit is leading them or what the Spirit is leading them to do. However, being open to the Spirit, they were strengthened, they were given courage, and they boldly proclaimed what God has intended them to do, to spread the good news. In our lives, sometimes we think that certain things can assure us of salvation. However, that is not merely what God intends us to do. Not that we don't have to, to think about our salvation, but along the way, we must open ourselves to the Holy Spirit so that the Spirit may guide us, so that the Spirit may strengthen us, so that the Spirit may also transform us, and yet in many times that the Spirit may also forgive us. That way, we not only are concerned about ourselves, but we all together come as a community of the faithful to testify, to spread the good news by the very lives that we live.
baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we are made children of God. As true co-heirs with Christ, we ca can come to our Father with confidence. Our response, Abba, hear your children. Abba, hear your children. That the church on earth may be drawn together to perfect the perfect unity of the Trinity in the community of divine love. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, hear your children. That baptized Christians may grow in the fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, hear your children. That those who are slaves of fear may find the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, hear your children. That may, we may work to bring non-believers to faith and baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, hear your children. That our departed brothers and sisters may be raised to the glory of the Holy Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Abba, hear your children. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered for intentions of Beth Delia Barajas, for the souls of Rudy Palacio and Angel Feria. We lift up the intentions submitted to us in thanksgiving for Claire Kagampang. We pray for our dearly departed Adelaida Nuki. We remember all the prayers we have placed in the Ark of Prayer chest as well as those in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Abba, Abba hear, hear your, your children. children. Heavenly Father, as we offer our prayers, draw us into the communion of the Spirit who dwells in your children and the Son, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the sufferings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. To him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abavoth. Plenisum celi et terra, gloria tua. Osana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini. Osana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. And you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, we tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them peace be with you alleluia
and in solidarity with our sisters and brothers praying with us, we say, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. We now pray to our loving Mother in Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is, Lead Me, Lord. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for the Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find a narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, O oh Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. And lead me, Lord, today. Have a blessed day, everyone. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.